doing a little maintenance here on a, a Colt Trooper. It's one of the first ones. It's a Mark III. It's got the uh, recessed cylinders. They only did this on the first year, maybe a year and a half, maybe two years. Um, it's pretty worn. It's an old cop gun. Um, but it's in great shape and it's a real solid lockup. It hasn't been shot much. There's one thing wrong. The ejector rod, someone knurled up the end, so I'm going to get a new ejector rod for it. Honest wear doesn't bother me, like worn off bluing, but something like that. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's it's literally it's all ground down. Someone took a you know you got to put a piece of a piece of leather around it and then put a vice grip and snap it loose. And someone just ground the heck out of it. So I'm gonna get a new ejector rod. And uh, you know I saw one is like 14 bucks. So I'm, if I can get a Colt original, I'm gonna try and get one that's an actual. I don't know if they make reproductions, but I'm gonna try and get one original Colt part. <sighs> You know, even used would be better because it would match rather than have a nice shiny new one. But either either way, I gotta I gotta get rid of that that gnarling up there. So I'm just doing some maintenance here. I'm gonna take the guts out of it another day. I'm just doing this, cleaning the cylinder, and uh, you know, doing a little deep clean on uh, on this on this stuff. And uh, you know, I already did a basic cleaning on it, but I gotta I'm gonna take it all apart and clean everything. I'll take every part out and really clean it. So but it's a really cool gun. It's a really neat gun. I got some new springs coming for it too. So anyway, I just thought I'd give you a look at that apart and I'll I'll make another video when it's all back together and maybe when it's done I'm gonna put some wolf springs in it and, and uh and uh set this guy up. Right. Alright, see you later.